Okay, so what we did last, we did the last of the three original main missions. We can do, let me check out what our assignments are. Okay, we got a lot of things UNC. What is the UN? Okay, these are just finding things. This one, if we meet Conrad again, we'll talk to him again. Go to the, in the Voyager cluster and investigate activities. Okay, so we just have, oh, I don't have my pad of paper. Oh, I wanted to turn on the water. I think we should do a main mission. Oh, I did want to restore their water. Oh, oh, we can't inform them. That was what was going on. <clears throat> the... Okay, was there anything else? All right. Wait. Hostel's console is located in the Exogeny base. Find it and download the data onto the OSD that he gave you. Okay, wait. Let's find the Exogeny base. And do that. <gasps> Hi, Dark. Are you on your lunch break? Hello, hello. Oh, we go here to inform. Ah. Well, okay. That's easy enough. <clears throat> Go get a burger, Miles. Oh my god, get a burger for me. Maybe I'll have a burger. Ooh, maybe when I get to work, I'll order a kid's burger. Oh, look, we can't inform them. I can now I feel so dumb. Pain. Thank you. <clears throat> You've given us a second chance. It's nice to have more mundane worries, like getting that water flowing again. Water's, the water's back on again. Really? I'll need to get the relays going then. Thanks for your help, Commander. You're and welcome. Small payment for your oh. What are you having for lunch today, Dark? Who's this? Greta? When I could think, I hoped more of us would survive. I'm sorry! I fucked up! I threw the wrong grenade! Let me live! Let me live! The fuck? Is the... Mm, maybe we won't do this. I don't really care that much. It's probably not that big of a deal. Okay. Let's see. Saren is searching for the conduit, an ancient relic dating back to the Prothean extinction. Though the visions burned into your mind by the beacon on Eden Prime, you believe the conduit is a weapon capable of wiping out all life in the galaxy. Saren must be stopped. You need to explore Ferris, Noveria, and the Artemis Tau Cluster and Vermeer to find the clues that will lead you to the conduit before Saren. Or Vermeer. You've received word that a Salarian reconnaissance team on Vermeer has information about Saren. The message was unclear, and the Council fears the team is in danger. Head to Vermeer and rendezvous with the Salarian team. Isn't that somewhere we need to go for here? Oh, yeah, so let's just go to Vermeer. Okay, let's get back on the ship. How do we get back on the ship? I guess we gotta go. Is this the Normandy? Set. The Normandy. Goodbye, sweet Pharos. Wait. Do we also need to be on Pharos? Where am I going? Hello, team. I require a guide. Do join the Discord. I want to watch some movies soon. But I need to figure out what. Maybe we'll do, like, a space theme. We could also do, like, a car theme, but I don't know about those movies. Are there good, like... I'm trying to think of game... Or... What just fell down? Movies relevant to the games we're playing. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Oh man, now I'm thinking about a burger. Decon Commander. Oh. You look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? 
Oh shit, we should have done this before ending last time. Um, but we couldn't find that water thing. <gasps> Cheese and buffalo chicken breast sandwich with coffee? Yum. Do we, we feel strange? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Okay. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Do we have to? That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I, I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are um. remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? Kaden. The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are, are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. What? Are you sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. Uh-oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. I don't want that up. <clears throat> yes, you should. Are you okay? Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Okay, go. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Wow, we had a Setting lot up of the link now, Commander. admin work to do Commander, for that last mission that I didn't should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Mm, the no. Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the no colony shit. was saved. No shit, Sherlock. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths <clears throat> to help a human colony. Oh. Excuse me, Spartus. I will help any colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. That Admiral. bitch. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. What? Goodbye, okay. Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. I gotta make sacrifices? What am I? Dr. Tassoni. <clears throat> Commander, we need to talk. The three of us. This is a rather awkward situation. Oh, no! I'm not trying to make anyone uncomfortable. Oh, I'm just no! trying to figure out where I stand. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I was so afraid this was gonna happen if I if I didn't tell Oh no. Okay, let's talk. Maybe we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I, I understand the up. concept of jealousy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not jealous. I'm confused. I mean I thought we had something, ma'am. I, I didn't realize well. that you were a <clears throat> well that you prefer other women. Wow. I am not exactly a woman, Lieutenant. My species only has one gender. Yeah, but you look... Yeah, Caden. Right, fuck you. Make a choice. If you're not serious about me, it'll hurt, but I'll get over it. But until you tell me, I can't get over it. <laughs> can't I have you both? Is that gonna ruin me? Oh my god. No, we have to choose. I'm sorry, Caden. I never meant for you to get hurt. <sighs> but Liara is the one I really care about. I'll be fine, Commander. We're just friends. Polly Red. I understand. I hope things work out for you too. 
think Skeeter... I've got a lot of work to do, Commander. Mission reports, that kind of thing. You know how it is. Sorry, Caden. You were a little I specious. feel bad for him, Shepard. I hope he'll be okay. I'll go talk with him in a while. Give him a chance to cool down. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I am sorry you were put in this position, but I'm glad you chose me. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more private conversation. On my way! Who does say it like that? Liar is the one I really care about. I know, we could have handled that with more tact. Although, I mean, yeah, the phrasing, not ideal. I only care about Liara. Which is kind of facts. Okay, I guess we should go find Liara. Will Joker say anything new to us right now? <clears throat> I always want new info from Joker, and he never gives me anything new, and it makes me sad. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony oh, of mutant mind. zombies. Just thinking out. What? Just thinking out what? Excuse me? Just thinking out... Direct eye contact? Let's get private. We're gonna go get private. I'm so excited. I was kind of I joking. When I, right, when I scheduled this and I called it the Liara Romance Simulator, I was mostly joking about that. I didn't really think we'd be able to romance her today, but we're going to keep that for, for, we're going to go say hi to everyone. We're going to go check in on everyone. Okay. And we're going to do Liara last because I'm hoping it's spicy. Okay. I guess we'll start down. Oh, is it only the people... That came with me, right, usually? But we'll have things to say. So who was with us? Garrus or Rex? I can't remember. I think it was Garrus. Do you have anything Commander, you want to say? Good to see you. Personal you questions. Been with a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as Yeah, I've seen some Travel safely. Okay. Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. Anything specific? I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I'm gonna listen I was to tasked this. with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless. Nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, then why was it on the black market? An increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. <laughs> we usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Um, what the fuck? So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was. The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. Oh. After a bit of digging, I discovered <clears throat> this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. Oh my god, so no. So we went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Who? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from oh. buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a Wait. killing out there. Are you telling me that they, that Krogan's have four testicles? What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if Space I could get babe to shit, Katie. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. You mean threatening? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. 
That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Saleon's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. Ew. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. But they were... okay. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Ooh. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside, hidden, so nobody could see it. That's... so fucked up. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. What? You knew who it was and you... what? Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. Blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. How are you just gonna... Oh, By my God. found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages <gasps> if we tried to stop him. So you just let him go? But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. Oh, no. They were worried about the hostages, worried about what? civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. <sighs> it would have killed a lot of people in the Citadel. But I see. Well, you can't get them all. No. What's up, Nevs? Yeah. Letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, Ask stop away. him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. All they had to do was to do something. I suppose mm. I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time. I didn't know what to now. Just wish I could have stopped it. That's all. Yeah. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His <laughs> of idea course. Of joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. Oh. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Oh, give it to me. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. <gasps> but Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find Okay, him. so Garrus needs to come for the Saleon mission. <gasps> Yo! I love that. Can we talk to Ashley? Hello! Commander? How are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. I want to have Since a drink I'm with her. I'm Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Oh. Why me? You can't think I'm the most patriotic person on the ship. Nah, you just happened by at the right time. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. Uh-oh. It's because her family probably I'm General sucks. Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. I'm just assuming. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race... What does that mean? Nebs, you can ask that question. Sorry, I don't know if you heard me. <clears throat> uh, okay. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did oh. it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. So <laughs> that's why she's so specious. But that doesn't that doesn't excuse it. 
Let's just say... Let's say so do you. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Ayo! You know the difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. Girl. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? Of course not. You're part of the team, Williams. I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO who's ever said that to me. Thanks, Skipper. Right, Edge? But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do, too. Wow, we are not going to have a drink? Fine. Goodbye. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Like, I'm glad to have a little bit more insight on that, but it, it truly doesn't. Oh my god, wait, should we do this real quick? Uh, I'll just do it when I take them out. Shepard. Hello. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? Oh, we really came at Rex a little hot, I I'm think. I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? <gasps> what? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. What is this conversation? I'm no hero, Shepard. Fair. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. Oh, I use. Hold on. Let me look real quick, cause I I found one one day that it includes like if somebody has a seven TV color. Um. Chat it. Hold on. Let me get you a link. Chat is. Do, 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 do. And then, if for some reason, like, you're busy and you don't want. You want me to, like, DM it to you later, just DM me and I'll send it to you. <clears throat> okay. Killing for credits simplifies things. Uh. Sometimes I do. You guess. ever think about helping your people? The fuck? I try not to. Oh. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. That would be hard. You don't hard. get to pick who your enemies are. That's true. So long, Rex. That is true. Shepard. He doesn't, you don't get to pick. All right, let's go talk to Tali. And Tali's working on something, isn't she? Doesn't she have like a little project she's working on? Hey, Shepard. You need something? Oh, oh, goodbye. I should go. She had nothing to say. See you later. I'm wondering why they're pushing that. They really are pushing the Ashley romance. All right, let's go up and we'll talk to Kaden. I don't know if Kaden will talk to us. I have a feeling... I kind of have a feeling that Kaden will act the way that Emily acts now that I've divorced her in Stardew Valley. I just need a moment. I can't talk to you right now. Is he gonna be sad boy? But it's always so dramatic and like sexy when she walks up to him. Anything you need, Commander? <sighs> just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's mm -hmm. got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorium. Oh. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? Heck yeah, probably. I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Oh. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. 
I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. What happened? Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Mm -hmm. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. Oh, shit. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Oh, Like fuck. an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was going to do. Just something. And oh. Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back in the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to Jesus. help the girl you cared for. Also, a noble thing. your professor put a fucking Maybe knife in your face. were noble, but I... I lost control. I, I saw I saw that line on the captions Snapped before he said neck. it. Oh my god. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Dude, Caden. When they shipped him home, bot training was shut down. Canada folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Oh, he's still so nice to me. I feel like I don't deserve his kindness after I broke his heart, but... Do we need to talk yes, to the doctor? Yes, Commander? Nope. Is there something you need? Nope. I should go. I'm good. Goodbye, Commander. Why were we, like, in the shadows? All right, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Goddamn. Goddamn. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I actually wonder. <laughs> you guys probably didn't hear that at all. God damn, I just realized something I forgot to do much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Huh. You're in good hands. I know, Dr. I was kind of hoping Chakwa would say something about Liara. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Yeah, I do. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I will be very patient. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity. But those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. Oh. You make it sound almost mystical. <clears throat> A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge. Identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. <laughs> it is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. Let me amazing. in. I'm sorry. Are you saying... No. Oh, no. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... Oh, because we fucked up. The union is more than just sex. It oh. is the lifeblood of my species. The way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. Okay. 
That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 100 Jesus. Barely an adult by Asari standards. Sorry. And I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. No. You are very special to me, Shepard. This got but too with serious. All that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers. I do not know if we are ready for this. I understand. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's let's talk about something else. Okay, goodbye. I should go. God damn goodbye, it. Shepherd. We saved her for last because I thought that... But it's okay. She needs to take her time. Alright, let's go to Virium or whatever. Oh, whatever, wherever, we need to go to Virium. Beep boop, beep boop. Right? Okay. Let's see. Oh, I want missions. Oh, Vermeyer. Sorry, not Virium. Head to Vermeyer and rendezvous with the Salarian team. Okay, let's save the game. And then... Zoom out. I don't know where Vermeyer is. Logan. Juan. I bet if I... Oh, it's right over here. Wow! Okay, see, I'm realizing now that they do mark, like, big things, big places they want you to go. So, Vermeer, here we come. I forgot we were still in frickin' Pharaohs. Indeed, let us travel to a new system. Oh, that's all that's here. I like it. Oh, never mind. Nope. Look at that Normandy. The Normandy is pretty cool. God, I want to be in space. Okay, this is okay. I just want to see if we can. I don't really want to explore any of them, but if there's something to. Scan? Nothing? Not a single thing to scan. What about here? Alright, let's do it. Please? Oh my god, it looks beautiful. Vermeer is a lush frontier world, ideal for colonization by carbon-based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid tropical terrain. Unfortunately, the political instability of the nearby terminus system has impeded colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by pirates and slavers all oh, makes it an unappealing homestead. Oh. Let's land. Way to fucking ruin the moment. Okay, who are we gonna take with us? Um, let's take Liara. And we'll take our best boy, Garrus. Actually, no, yeah, I wanna take Garrus. Except squad. Except. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take him out. Oh. Oh Get shit. We're going radar, right into battle, huh? Dude, that's kind of cool, though. Got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. All right, where are the towers? Hold on. I think we should take a photo. Look at us at our in our truck. Everyone, look at me. Everyone. 
Okay, well, I can take a photo like this. This is great. Look at us. Screenshot source. Look at us. Hold on. Liara, I'm trying to get a cute photo of us. Like, look at us on vacation. Fuck you. I guess, oh, you know what we could do? Oh, I can't control. I can't control the bitches. All right, should we get in the Mako? Feel like, okay, let's look at this map. I really wanted to be able to like move them around. this all right that's kind of far away in we oops in we go oops you know what this reminds me of um uncharted Them. I want to go on a tropical vacation. Is that the tower I want to destroy? I'm probably too far to hit it right now. <gasps> Whomst? What are you? Flying? Damn. Get wrecked, nerds. Bye. <gasps> no. Ouch. Oh my god. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look at the way they fly in the air. In such a beautiful setting and everything. They just look like they're dancing. Little dancing robots with bombs that they'll throw at you. Oh. Oh, I hit the water. I am so bad at the aim on the Mako. Oh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, he didn't explode in, in as fun of a way as I expected him to. Maybe this one will? Oh, no, you're just a... Excuse you. Oh, my God. Get out. Get out. I want a photo. We're in the ocean. Me too. I love when they go flying. I want to see. Which way do I need to face for the photo? Look at us fighting nothing. I like the depth of field. I don't... Yeah, hide our vehicle. This, maybe? Borger acquired? What'd you get on your Borger? Tell me what you got on your Borger. Things I want to know. Alright. Alright. Let's get back. 
kids. Back in this thing. We got distracted by the beauty of this game. We went to McDonald's yesterday and today. And today? <laughs> Never again. Never again? Bye, bitches. You think you got shield? Oh, we're getting spicy up in here, mouse. Get the fuck out of here. Oops. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Um, explode. You know what? I mean? Hello. <laughs> Bye. Hello and goodbye all at the same time. Ooh! Oh. It just good. <laughs> God. Have you guys seen the Google, the transcript of the Google employee talking to the AI? And the AI being like, yeah, I would be sad if someone turned me off because it would feel like death. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, there you are. Are you still alive? Boost. Oh, hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Goodbye to you. Oh. <laughs> that rock really fucked us up. Yeah, they need to just stop and watch the Terminator series a few times. Is that what that movie's about? Do you think I should get out here and go... I think we should. Team, we're getting out. What you're telling me is that Google has created the gap. I think so. I don't think I've ever seen the Terminator, Melly. Should I see it? Oh, you're still alive? As you shoot one. <laughs> the description. Oh, wait, hold on. You know what we do need to do? Terminator movie night win? I'll get something on. Ban self? Why are you banning yourself? Oh, we can watch the Terminator movies. I'll schedule it. I'll look at my schedule. Maybe this weekend? Let's see. I want to do. Intimidate. First aid. Fitness, I guess. Fit. Nope. Do not make that joke. Don't make that joke. Electronics. And. Stasis. That's fine. Alright. Garrus. To you, I give. Description. All of it. Thank you. Be better. I'm just kidding. You're perfect. Now can we get it? Yo, that worked! Thank you, Garrus. Think of all the things I've missed out on because I didn't... Oh! It looked like we were flying! Flying through the night! Dude... I just wish I could take Liara on a date here.
You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Oh? Alright. Here we go. Chaps, thank you for the whole seat. Whole seats help you. Appreciate you. Get out of here, Mr. Geth. Am I hurting him? No. Whoa, 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 what is happening? Oh, because there's some bitches over here. I'm fucking some of the wrong bitches. Get wrecked. Good night. There's some more bitches over here. Hold on. Some more bitches. Bitches and hoes don't know. No. Bitches and hoes. Bitches, hoes. Bitches and hoes don't exist because the hoes don't pose a feminine. I can just send that. Sorry. I wasn't ready for him. He's so close to me. Good night. Forehead kiss. Holy shit. He's just standing there. He's like, game over for me. Should I go around this way? Oh. I think this is the other way I could have come. I know that that other building is where I want to be, but... I've got myself distracted by options. I'm too much of a completionist. I'm too much of a completionist that never completes things. See something through? Are you kidding must me? must find a way to disable their artillery. Yes. Can we like shoot? <clears throat> what is? I saw that. Good night. Have a good flight. Let's go, team. We're in the middle of a fight. Are we? We must find a way to disable their artillery. Is she mad at me because I made us get out? But like. We can fight with our hands. Shit, shit. Bitches and hoes, don't no, no. Oh, bitches and hoes. Bitches, hoes. Bitches and hoes, don't this. For all the highs. I miss you. Hi, how are you? Excuse my singing. Oh, what's up, buddy? Excuse me. That was rude of him. Lips. How are you doing? You're... The other day when you were like, I'm laying on the ground in a vineyard, I was like, that's my dream. That's my dream. I love vineyards. I worked in on Bitches and Hoes. I know, that song is always stuck in my head. I'm always singing Bitches and Hoes. Bitches and Hoes don't exist because the hoes know foes are feminist. I think it's a Bo Burnham song. I could be wrong. I only think that because of the word Bo. But I also activate? Oh, I activated it. Activate. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach oh. to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to continue oh. on your mark, Commander Shepard. 
Oh. What'd I do? Is that what I wanted to do? Okay. Have I ever played Astro Near? No, I have not. Is that that game? One time you were playing and it was like... Um... You were like tethered to a little thing and you're running around. Does that make sense? Have you streamed it before? I guess that's a better question. All right, where's the base? Oh. To the Solarian camp we go. Oh, we opened up the doors. Okay, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's adorable. You were playing- Yeah, we needed the Malashui. God damn. Do you want to do another Malashui right now? When do we get our next Protoss stream? Also, how's Nabs? I'm happy. You're happy, buddy. Oh, shit. Hello. Damn, this game is really stunning today. I'm so glad I didn't give up on this game, you know what I mean? I don't give up, I mean, I don't give up on the games pretty easily, but there were a few moments when I didn't understand how I would ever make it out. It's a great game, Astroneer? You like it too? Or this? Or Master? Hey, buddy? Hey, buddy? Hey, buddy? No, that's not what we do here. I need you to switch your guns, Shepard. Hi, Mom! I, I will text you that insurance stuff after stream, before work, hopefully. Sorry, I'm not ignoring you. I just leave it on red so that I can remember to do it. Who else? This is an extra question. No idea on streamies, but Nebs is good. They just went to work, so you're waiting for their return? Oh, good. Are you having a good time? Bitch boy said, I'm gonna run fast and furious at you, and I said, good night. You think I'd like No Man's Sky? You, I think you said that the other night, right, Nevs? I think you're right. I think I would like No Man's Sky. Have you heard of that new Starfield game that's coming out that people keep saying is like No Man's Sky? We need to upgrade our guns because now we have we've gotten lots of guns today. That was the final gate. Our path to the Solarian camp should be clear from here. You haven't you haven't heard of it? Oh, you should look into it. People have said it looks like No Man's Sky. It's not co-op like No Man's is, uh, but there's also like a hundred something planets to explore, or maybe a thousand. It's a lot. The number was very big. I thought I'd stream on my week off, but I kind of have just spent four days with Nabs and I work tomorrow night. I, I get that. You want to soak up that time with Nebs? Stream will always be there, you know? The time with the people do you adore. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Uh-oh. Also, when we get here, after we see what's up, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Um, I'm gonna use the restroom. We'll do like a little, a little fiver. Everyone can use the restroom, get some water, get a snack, and then we'll go for about two more hours before work. There is the Solarian camp. Uh oh! Why are we grounded? What do we do? So what are Sneak we supposed up? to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Uh oh! What's going on? Are you in charge here? What's the situation? 
I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, that's just great. What now? That sucks. We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. Oh, yes. DoorDash? I miss DoorDash so much. Um, sorry, we man. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. <sighs> oh, Saren's base. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. Oh. How is that possible? Let's go, Rex. Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. We know what the genophage is. I want to see what he says, though. What's so important about curing oh. this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising to quell their numbers. Without That's it, so the Krogan fat. will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Uh... The Geth are bad enough. But a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. Yes, this Rex, stand up for the Krogan. Them. I agree. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. That's not necessarily true. We are not a mistake. Oh. Like, yes, Rex. Yes. Is a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Fuck you. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. He's a good guy. I appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. I love we Rex We won't be long, so Commander. Much. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Oh. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I will. I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Fuck you, Ashley. Hold on. Look at this. I want this photo. Look at that! Terrifying. Oh, <sighs> no. Look at that. Oh my god. Sorry, I am just really tapping into my inner Ren. Oh wait, hold on. Oops, have I been taking photos with the UI on all day? Um, okay, hold on. I want to take this off. I do want the Normandy in the back. She really is. Like, girlfriend, you gotta... gotta stop hold on is there anyone else oh oh hello hello oh my god put this on your tinder Kaden what about, is there anything else? <gasps> oh no, I want a photo of Raxi. I guess when we come back from, hello. Hello. <gasps> Garrett's? Hello? Hello, my guy. I wish I could get a photo of you with the Normandy, but I'll get a photo of you right here. A beach boy. A beach boy. He's not very dressed for the beach. Okay, all right. I'm going to go pee. <laughs> I'm going to put up the BRB screen. <laughs> and I will be right back. Um, I love you guys. I just, I got to, I got to go piss, girl. I got to go piss.
Can I? These aren't your people. These aren't your these people. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets, tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? Charismatic. Trophy? No, we were tools for the council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. Put your gun down. Put your gun down. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. I almost shit a brick. You can have his head. I almost shit a brick. I love Rex so much. <gasps> oh my god. Thank god I had that option. I would have been fucking bawling. Oh fuck. What? Oh my god. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Okay. Normally I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I want to save this. Holy fucking shark balls. Is my team ready? What can I do to prepare them? Oh, Tali? Hello? The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. Oh. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. I want to see his supplies. I feel like I should look at what my team has first. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. I need to do a little up update first. Description skill too low. Fine. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Let's check out equipment. Take all. Okay. Assault rifle. Oh, heck yeah. We can go up to 308 damage per second. Ooh. What about the last time we upgraded our weapons? Because, oops. Yeah, I don't think we need that guy. Mm-hmm. Human. Ooh, let's do that. <gasps> it's a different color. All right. How can I change the weapons of my team? Can I, like... I will fight with fire for you, Commander. I guess when I choose them, I can change it, yeah? There aren't like lockers. Or... Can I get onto the Normandy? Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Should we take Rex for that fight? I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Mm -hmm. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turi and ask goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. What? That does indeed sound difficult. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Mm-hmm. It does sound a bit risky. 
Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. <laughs> but you'll all die. What? It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. One of my men? You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all They'll soldiers die. by trade. If your Won't people they? are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. Hmm. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. Ooh, I'll start actually. Respect, Gunnery Chief. It's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Resenting Ashley, because if she dies, it's I'll have the ordinance loaded onto the Norman. Sorry about it. On its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Mm. Mm-hmm. I have many. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. Mm -hmm. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Hi, Izzy Bobizzy. Why are you judging? I want to go die. No, I want to go die. No, I want to die. No. I can't believe you take this opportunity away from me. Hi, Izzy. How's your day going? How was Zarsha's stream last night? Sorry, I had to go sleep. But I love you. Sorry, I have some chippies. Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. Before? Did I set that alarm for 3 p.m.? I didn't. Mm hmm. I did. In fact, I did. Do you want um, some cheese and bread? Imagine sleeping high, Verge. <laughs> high, Verge. What is sleeping? Okay. We are about to go into a big fight. And our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Okay. Hmm. It does sound dangerous. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. You have faith in me? Oh, God. <clears throat> All right, other teams? Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick okay. rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Great. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. This is what we're Disable doing. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you're out of the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. Okay. I'm not ready yet. Wait. Oh, wait. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Mm -mm. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Okay. I need a few more moments to prepare. Take your time, but we're ready to go as soon as you say. Okay. I need to see if I can change weapons. It's rare to see a Krogan accept reason. You command exceptional loyalty. 
For anyone that knows, I just want to show you something that I did. Okay. Okay. We're doing this, then let's go. Okay, Rexy. Hi, Liara. Your ability to calm the Cro I'm surprised you were able to reason with a Krogan. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um. So I can't change the equipment on my team right now. Okay. I guess I have to do it when I choose my team. Kind of a bum skis. I guess I'm ready. I don't think there's anything else to do. All right. All right. We're gonna go. Ready, Commander? Let's do this. Oh, nervous. I'm fucking nervous. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse um, me, I need to prepare my men. Okay, are you guys trying to make well, me cry? Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Mm. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Verge, you're perfect. It's my first time playing. Sorry, I'm not here. I'm napping. I will not perceive. Sorry, I went to go... to the restroom and then I saw snacks. So I had to give myself... <clears throat> a few snacks. Okay. We're a team. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs. Keep your eyes open and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. So our you girl on the right that my camera's kind of covering, she is going with the... You all know the mission and what is at this stake. This team. His team. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence Say stopped it, the man. Krogan, but before that, we held the line. We held the line. Our Say it with me. will stop staring. In the battle today, we will hold the line. The line's gonna be held. Give the line. Luck, Commander. Give it to me. I hope you I'll hold it. The inspirational. Oh, he did it. Okay, we gotta pick our team. We can't pick Ashley because we sent her away. I kind of wanna. I kind of wanna choose Rex and Garrus. But you know I love my girl. But then we'll have no tech strength. So we could bring Kaden. I wanted to bring Rex because he has a personal agenda and I want to see his thoughts. Garrus is my favorite. We never bring Tali, but we could skip Caden and go Tali and then we've got combat tech biotic. We hold the line. Thank you guys. Thank you. We're holding the line. Mmm. I'm sorry, Tali's so boring to me. I... <sighs> Let's go, Rex and Kaden. No Tali? Hi, Rich. Hello, Rich. No Tali. Rex has personal stake here. So Stop I'm going to bring him. You read me, Commander. Affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Alright, so we gotta keep our eye out. 
Oh, wait, hold on. I need to make sure my team is set up. See? Not set up. You're going to take this. And then you're going to take this. And then you're going to take this. And you can take this. Sure. Um... <clears throat> that works. Alright. Now Rex, take that. Shotgun. Pistol upgrade. Sniper upgrade. That. We won't change your armor. Guys, I'm nervous. Alright, now let's double check our points. Okay. Kaden has 18 points. We're gonna go... Let's upgrade his barrier. Let's upgrade his throw. It is lift up there. We have three more points. Not gonna make a huge difference anywhere. We can... Put them in first aid. Okay. Rex has 16 points. So we're gonna give him barrier. That. That. Upgrade on his shotgun. Upgrade on his stasis. Four more points. Let's just upgrade his throw because it's not very strong. Okay. Oh man. You weren't a fan of, you weren't a tally fan until post Mass Effect One. I am good, Rich. I hope you're good. I like Tally. I just she's kind of, in like, I don't know. She doesn't stand out to me when I bring her on missions. And like, Caden will sometimes say things. I want to see how he acts, honestly. And Rex, Shadow I'm bringing for Shadow obvious reasons. Chief Williams, B fourteen, Malavine, Tieto teams, move. <gasps> Oh my I god. Some attention. Okay. Let's do this. And then also I'm gonna use shield boost for me. Hold on. I need to find where these people are. Behind this rock. Monofies under coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping the Geth target. Oh, back there? Did I not switch to my... I didn't. Got him? Alright, let's move in. I think that's just... I think those are just shields. Oh, never mind. We're jammed. We're jammed. I'm gonna switch back to my breaker. Oh, hi, buddy! What the fuck is that? Oh, god. Did I kill him? Did we get him? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I mean, she's fine. There just wasn't anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Ex nothing super exciting. Oh, we could have. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Oh hi! Wow, this gun is powerful. Ooh, let's go. That probably helps the team. Let's get some. Are these any of these weapons better than what we have? Very possibly. Wait, where do we go now? Is this not where we're meant to be? Alright, back down on the ground, I guess. Must have missed something. Oh, we go this way. Come on, team. Alright. Not got that shot. Me. Chief Williams, take the heat off my Hmm. Wow, this gun is fucking powerful, I'll tell you what. Where are they? I hope I don't fuck this up. <laughs> Where'd you go, bitch? Where'd you go, bitch? They're calling sat strikes. Dieto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? 
Do I need to be... Am I Williams? No, I'm Shepard. <laughs> Forget my own name. Alright, I bet I can do something up here to help the team. Ah, bitch. Move, bitch. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Hey, what's up? Oh, no. Alright. Oh, it's saving. There's something up here for me to do. What is it? Or is it underneath? Is it underneath? Or do I just need to be there? Nope, it's not underneath. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Come on. Sorry, sorry. Oh! Perfect. Can I do this? Oh. Aid station. Okay. Alright, what else? Just keep going, I guess? I don't see anything else to do. Alright, here we go. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bump her up before they come back. God, there's so many ways we can go. That bitch didn't even see us. God, we're so good. Saving always means boss fight, right? That's what I thought. Captain Kira, he's down. Agor, form up with Deanto. <gasps> Hold that line. No! No! He fell? Where's the sniper? Oh, that's Rex. Oh my god. Oh my god, not me shooting my teammate. Holding ground. JLTO around me. Shadow team must be getting close. Oh no. The commander on the other team died. Is that my fault? Did I not move fast enough? Come on. Access base security. Let's go. <gasps> let's go. Base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might hey, even so the alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarians to handle. He'll clear the guards, but they may be too much. Ah, oh, fuck. They've got enough trouble. Just We're disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. I think we can. Hold on. Okay, I've got my shield. Oh, let's do this. Do they have? Okay, you can use your shield boost. Alright, and then this guy use sabotage. Holy shit, holy shit. Someone's hiding over here. Don't hurt my team. I think he's up here. What's this? I'm so nervous. Hey! I was trying to do something. Bitch. You bitch. I don't know if I'm supposed to be shooting those. I think they're meant to, like, help me if I... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I always forget. Oh, oh, can we... Fuck with their... Yes. Fuck with their... You know what I mean? Override succeeded. Because we are a pro. In we go. Oh? Is someone out there? Hello? That gun is... Isn't it? I'm glad we upgraded. It truly is like a one-shot wonder. Okay, can we hold him here? Damn it, fill those holes. Come oh, on, no. Shepard, hurry up. I'm sorry, Ashley. Ashley's a little bit of a see you next Tuesday, if you know what I mean. Let 
I won't lie. Maybe I'm not going the right way. I don't know. We're just going to keep going. Oh, we could have taken the elevator. But you know what? Elevator? We don't need her. I want to investigate this. Okay. Well, anything in here just hack? Nope. Uh oh. Oh, they're scared. A bit of a chunt. Exactly. Where's my team? Oh, they did come with me. I was like, where the fuck are you? Alright, let's go. Into the elevator. Are you guys ready? Dun 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 dun. I don't know why that's. Is he pretty? Look at his little pink and white outfit. I love it for him. Um, excuse me? Who, where? Oh no. Mom, I'm hurt. Where's my team? Where's my team? We're alive. We're alive. Oh, 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 oh. Oh? The husks are coming out of their ch Oh, no. Can I not use. Can I use any of my guns? Yes. Okay. I don't know why I always shoot those. Like, it's just not helping. Alright. Are you guys ready? Door control. Can I use this gun back here now? Thank you. Thank you. Come on, team. Oh, shit. Hello. Happy Easter. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's obviously Christmas. Don't shoot. Oh, shit. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Who are you? Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I'm sorry, what? This was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Oh? See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I want to know about your... You <laughs> Do I have time to ask her? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Am I going to get Ashley killed by there. asking her? I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. Isn't it kind of like the Thorian? Damage too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. Do you think she can join our ship? I like her. Fan of things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. I think that's just, I'm just, I was gonna make a, to everyone a joke facility. about being a sub. My I'm first test subject was the man <laughs> I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Hmm. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind, kind of, of brainwashing energy field kind of subtle, emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate <clears throat> and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There is a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Okay, get out of here. I'm blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. I kind of wish you could join what? our team. You can't. But I'll never. Oh. Do we have to kill it? Oh, okay. I was going to say, is she going to go warn someone? <laughs> did he just say you enjoyed that? Yeah, I did. I hope I'm not fucking up right now. 
by doing all these things. Like, I wonder how long I have. I feel bad that the commander of the other team... We also haven't heard from Ashley in a second. She could very well be dead. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. We're holding the line, though. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. <gasps> oh. Yep. Uh-oh. It sure is. Oh, Shepard. Are we okay? Are we indoctrinated? I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. Me too. You are not Saren. Oh. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable. Of understanding. Don't call us rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your Thank own. you for the water. You cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. You know what I mean? It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. Oh. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Rex, it's not Organic even... It's a... life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution That's the and dream, existence. Rich. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Okay. That's true. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. This cycle? guy, this computer guy, rudimentary object of not has blood and flesh. More times than you can fathom. I'd like to see him. Um, civilizations <laughs> rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. Oh, fuck. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. That's terrifying. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need. Imagine, right? And wiping us out. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? Can we ask him all of those My questions, or did I just get one? Oh, we're going to find out. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. 
You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? I'm Who sorry, you? what? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Are there more? Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Um. You're not even alive. <laughs> not really. Fuck You're you. just a machine, and machines can be broken. Yes! Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. I'm sorry, what? It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. We gotta blow this, this face up. Shot. Orders, Commander. We're done here. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Where's the breeding facility? Do we know? I'm fucking terrified. I think I'm gonna get everyone killed on accident. Is this where I wanna go? The machine got mad, you were gonna kill it. Sounds pretty human to me. I always wanna end conversations like that. This exchange is over, you should. Imagine the power. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus I'm not a religious girl, but I do always call on Jesus. Shepherd must be getting close. Okay, Ashley's Gans alive. Circle around. Keep them here. Love Keep to see it. Oh no! Did I go the wrong way? No, because there was a guy there waiting for me. We haven't even been really been using our powers. You're- How did you just get up? I can't even that happened. All right, are you gonna get back up? I saw that other guy, is there another guy back here? No, we good, okay. All right. Just follow wherever the Krogan are. Save, 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 just in case. Thank you. Oh shit. Oh, I might have fucked every- I have a feeling I've fucked up. Ashley seems very dead. I might have saved too late. Oh, well. Oh, God, I fucked. Okay, well, we don't need that, right? No, we're gonna check in. Alright. It's beautiful here, though. You know, Saren did pick a beautiful location for his crimes. You little crawling guy, get out of here. Ah! Where'd you go? Yeah, let's see. Get back here, get back here, get back here. Did I get it? Did I get it? No. Bitch! My team can kill you. I've got things to do, like plant a bomb. <clears throat> Thank you, Rex. Alright, hold on. Let me make sure my team is... Oh, God. Okay. Oh, hey, guys. What's up? Got the oh. one in our sights. Oh? Ashley is alive. Ashley is alive. Ashley is alive, live, 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 live. Ashley is alive. Ashley is alive. 
Why did I put that in my mouth? Nothing like a cracker for a fight, you know what I mean? That's fuel, baby. There's the gun. Clear those gap and get the charges set. Oh my god, is this water? Ah! What is happening? These flying bitches. Oh my god. No, we need this open. Can we just get in here? Oh, okay. We can just we can walk on water. Just call me Jesus. There was another one. Oh, I guess they got him. We gotta go. Charges are set. Everyone get low now. And open. Open to some me. Fatigued. I can't save. Where is it? <laughs> All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Okay. Oh, and then they have to drop the nuke in here. Okay. All right, Joker. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Joker. All right. That is not how I expected them to drop that nuke. Are nukes normally placed this carefully? Bomb is in position. We're all set here. I wish you were kissing. Can you read me? I read you. The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned <sighs> down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll <sighs> never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we can- It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Okay. Up to the AA tower. Move! We're gonna go. We're gonna go save them. I mean- Oh? Oh. Okay, so we'll take- We'll keep Rex. And- We'll take Garrus, because we could use all the combat strength, I think. Um, I do need... to... upgrade... oh! Um... But did I not upgrade Garrus? Oh, did I not upgrade Garrus? No, I didn't, because I didn't have him with me. I want this armor for my gut. Why not? Oh, that's why not. Okay, and Rex is good, yeah? Oh. Well, we did get some new weapons, so... Let <laughs> he looks so pretty. Sorry, I probably peeked. <laughs> oh my god, he looks so beautiful. I love him. Alright, now I gotta okay, we got some more points. I didn't mean to scream, and I haven't fixed my peek shit. Or I didn't take off one of the filters I put on for my mouse and keyboard. <clears throat> Pretty in pink! It suits Rex. He is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. You guys get it. I don't know what I just put on him. Two points? Two points on my boy? Stasis. Beautiful. Uh, we'll give him more. Okay. Alright. Save. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go. Where are we going? Where are we going? Actually. 
And the breeding trench. The breeding trench. This goes to the AA tower. That's where we need to go. Let's go, team. Bye, Kaden. Kisses. Is this not a door? Um, back up this way. Okay, put those guns away right now. We are running like losers. How did we get in here? Where did you come from? Where are we going? Wait, don't. No, really? How do I open up a door? Do I just walk up to it? And it will, like, open? Is that not a door? Is this not a door? Wait a second. Um. What am I missing? Hello? Now we're jammed? Oh, this is the door? Oh! Let's go with overkill on you. And we'll do... Overkill on you. Is that doing him or him? Oh well. Good boy. Let's go. Rex, you're stunning. You're beautiful. I've never seen a prettier boy. I had to take a photo of him. I liked his red suit, but this one, so nice. <gasps> Damn. Yeah, they're sending in reinforcements. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Mm. How bad is it? Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. Hey, right, we gotta. I'm activating the bomb. What? What the hell are you doing, Elenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. What? It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Elenko. I have to choose? I mean, we're obviously saving Kaden. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. <sighs> That's sexist. Well, Ash is specious, so... <laughs> Save the girl. Save the girl. I had to go for the better person. You do the same thing every time? Maxi man. Hello, welcome in. I mean, I was sad that I had to make a decision there. But... I wasn't not going to save Kaden. Kaden's Kaden's the better person. At the end of the day, I'm not just going to save a fucking <clears throat> We should use shield though we can't use our shield boost right now. Okay. Um Oops, I didn't mean to select that. You kidding me? Good, good, good. That's a powerful gun. I'm the only one moving up. Commander, set that nuke and get out. We can't hold them. Damn 
have it. Suppressing fire. Cover your flank. Cover your. Are we gonna have to hear her die? Who the fuck? Holy shit. Daddy, sorry. <laughs> Daddy, sorry. Kiss me, sorry. <laughs> He's got a lot of stasis. Or I something. applaud you, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt. This is Saren. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to you thirst over Saren. <laughs> That was really bad. She looks wild here. That's not an okay face that she's making. You were shook at the first time? Of all the times I've played, I've only saved her once. Your first playthrough and never again. I'm, I think I made the right decision. And Kaden, yeah, no, it's true. Ash is a space racist, and Kaden is a little bit of a crybaby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sometimes she thirsts over the villain. It happens. Thank you for understanding and I hope forgiving me um this is a safe space and and okay <clears throat> anyway <laughs> I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here you can't possibly understand what's really at stake now make me understand why are you doing this you've seen the vision from the beacon Shepard you of all people should understand what the reapers are capable of they cannot be stopped do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? <sighs> Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? This guy. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work but... with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, why did they have to I make him so sovereign. beautiful? Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're just a puppet? Mm, it's not working, is it? You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? Let's get information out of this fucker. They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. You're indoctrinated! Yes! Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. Exactly. I, I'm a lower horror. The key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You <laughs> don't it under its power. <laughs> no, Sovereign needs me. Oh, if I find the conduit. I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. That this no was so pathetic. No. No, join me. <laughs> I feel like having him on my side is not good, but also. Saren romance simulator? I'm sure I can't romance him, but. 
Join me. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers, we can beat them! I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. God, why did they Sovereign have to make him so hot? It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. I don't know what those lips feel like. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, how can you do this? You were a specter. Daddy you Saren? were sworn to defend the galaxy. I then love you him. broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And I would. That, like a beast, probably, die. since they're avian. Oh, so you think it's like a little hard? Look at you, fun. Can't use that gun right now. Is he in love with me too? Is Kaden okay? It's okay. Whatever happens, happens. You know, it's the first playthrough. But... <laughs> That's get the shit out of me. <laughs> oh yeah! From a sub to a dom, real fucking quick. Right, you know everybody, what I mean? Hang on. We got out of there and we destroyed his research. I mean, Saren had to live because Saren is a Saren. Oh my god, we get to see Saren again. Because <laughs> Saren is I like can't our. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? Also, Caden. You guys literally had a pissing match, a peacock match of, no, I want to die. No, I want to die. No, put me in, coach. No, put me in, coach. You don't get to cry about it now that she died because I chose her to go in there. And I knew that she would probably die. Because I was willing to part with her. And that's why I put her in that position, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> it wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. <sighs> But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. Stop blaming yourself. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Yeah, yeah no shit. filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those Won't pieces that... together. Okay, won't that make her feel sick? You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, <laughs> go ahead. When your girl says, Join my mind. What does she say? Relax, She'll say it. Commander. Embrace, Embrace eternity. It's the best. Oh, 
Oh. Incredible. I look like a little roach. I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a very good moment. <laughs> Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. <sighs> oh. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! Oh. That is why Sarah needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? What's Ilos? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? That's Without fair. the cipher, the images in your visions we were, were a little clear. rude there. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. Hi, Ren. We need to get we to We just Ilos. got choked by Daddy. Forget it. The Mu relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. Oh shit, but I could have lost anyone. It could have it could have been like Ashley V anyone, huh? Yeah. Yep, yeah, you can post a clip. Um, thank you for the clip, Verge. My goodness, Saren, oh my god. How was your meeting, Ren? So if I wouldn't have chosen Caden, because it was, it was obviously like a hard decision, Ashley or someone. But I would have either lost Ashley or Caden, depending on who I sent with the other commander. I would have chosen to kill Ashley over anyone, I think. Anyway, we'll be careful. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Yeah, we Saren will. will have his entire with my throat. I'm sorry. You'll never make it down to the surface Daddy. without reinforcements. Why'd they make you him must so... alert the council. We need a fleet to... Oh, oh no. I am sorry. Yeah. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Go ahead. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. We did I can finish. Link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. Mm. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Is Joker sad? Did Joker like Ashley? Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Joker sounds really Patching sad. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. <laughs> of course they did. It was Ash versus Caden. <laughs> I was thinking of Corpse Husband Choke Me song when Saren got to. Oh my god. <laughs> the Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate, it is accurate. Oh, God. Why do they always doubt? Sovereign's Why don't they ever reaper. believe me? Saren admitted it. For the TikTok edit? He's playing you, Shepard. Oh, it's going on a TikTok. On the Citadel. I'll do it. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. I have an idea in my head of a way to do it's it without it being like a full It's possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. It can just be like a romantic song in the background and it'd be like me looking at Saren, Saren looking at me, and then, you know what I mean? Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Okay. Well... Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. I, the I get that, actually. The council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You yeah. have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Like, I do kind of get it. Like, if it is just something in my head, then why would they, you know? Okay, we gotta go talk to our team. 
And then what? It's it's two eleven. So it's it's actually perfect timing. Let's go catch up with our team. And then I want to talk. I want to see if if Doker's. Uh, can we talk? Does this guy ever say anything? Yes, new? Commander. Nope. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Exo Presley has the deck. Ren, when I get my shit together, I'm gonna have a surprise for you. But you, you'll Commander. have to find it. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been. I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no Joker right is choice some... for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just. I mean, it's hard, you know. Are you okay? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold what? it together. We I said, you. ask if he was okay. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. I said, are you okay? And she said, hold it together, Commander. Oh, don't worry about it. Because honestly, saying that ruins the surprise. Nothing. Time lapse of the dude. Oh, <laughs> turning into Vecna. Oh. Hi, Casey. Casey, how's your day going? Are you having a good day? Casey, we just had uh, so much fun. <laughs> it was a tough battle. We're down one. We could have been down two, though. Anything you need, Commander? About Williams. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on a coups? Oh. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, huh. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. Um, tactical person? What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah. Yeah, they've been around a while. So um, the Turians. Yes. We gave them a boot <laughs> in the ass. I got... I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. I said daddy a lot. <laughs> Should I talk to him about Liara and I? About Liara and me. Is everything all right? I was afraid of this conversation, so I didn't do it last time. I'm not in high school anymore, Shepard. I'm disappointed, sure. Yeah. But you made your choice. I'll do my duty. Don't worry about that. I'm sorry. You're a good man, Caden. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Just forget it, okay? Like Pascal said... The heart has its reasons, which reason cannot know. She seems like a nice girl, ma'am. I hope things work out between you two. Thanks, We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? <laughs> Hello, in seven. What's up? Are these... <laughs> Is this Caden? Is this your shepherd? <laughs> talking to him? Every time I'm here for Mass Effect, you're talking to him about his... Oh my god, he loves to talk about his feelings. Caden and his feelings... It's like bread and butter. It just goes together. He loves his feelings. Hello, Liara. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Of course I you was. You look much better. How are you feeling? <clears throat> this my girl. Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. I do He's too. become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? <sighs> Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yeah. 
Yes, just I because we understand right. him more doesn't he mean that he victim, can but just... he is also a threat to all yeah, life right. as we know it. All of the above. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him Do across the galaxy. Do you want to spend galaxy. a free moment talking about kissing? Oh, no. Okay, goodbye. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. She does not want to spend a free moment talking about kissing. Is she mad at me because of Caden? Would it have been better if I'd let Caden die? He seemed pretty powerful with his hand at your throat. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Hi, Dookie. Sarma was actually running a 25% discount on checkout for the first time credit card application and approval. <laughs> he was just there to, to sell us. Actually, I think he's part of an MLM. Who else? Oh! You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Still, I, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. Didn't realize they I were on our ship. You. I know you lost one of your own as well. Captain Kirahi will be missed, but many others will live because he gave his life. That is our lot, I suppose. But there may come a day when so many have been sacrificed, it will be impossible to tell who won. Mm. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know. We, I didn't know that. I like. I'm glad we did. Hi, Rex. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. Go snack some lunch. I respect your choice. How long was your drive, Rex? I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. I think of it the host is Luki. Eight hours? That's not too bad. In the Midwest, that's a general drive. Saren does need we'll to have pay. him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Rex has a personal vendetta now, which... Oh. Wait, that made me a little bit sad. I mean, fuck Ashley, but like, I just came to talk to her. Pour one out. It does keep feeling shorter each time I take that drive for sure. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I bet. Commander, I... What can I do for you? What's the matter? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. Oh, he's buddy. He's one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn question. Geth. You think he'll get away? We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Hmm. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> you can count on me. I love Thanks you. for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Of course. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I literally I had not thought of it. dragging their heels before. What if we find him? Bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act. I get the feeling this isn't the question. <gasps> Speak your mind, Garrus. I didn't know we were going to... Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my oh. opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. I think that's... If Saren won't listen to I mean, reason, I kind of agree, if he forces though. my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat but only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to I free love Garrus. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone, but what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yes. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? That's a good maybe, question. maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Damn. Damn. 
All right, let's see what Tali's got to say. Do, can we say anything to Engineer Adams? Something I can do for you, Commander. No. Carry on, Adams. Well, why kill Daddy Saren? I mean, if we can... Hey, Shepard. You need something? No. I, I guess go. not. See you later. I, I always get sad when they don't want to talk to me. You know what I mean? I'm always like, oh man, they don't want to have a conversation. I should bring Tally out on a mission so I can have more conversations with her, though. Well, let's go. Sit our ass down. Oh, wait, there wasn't... Uh, one more thing I want to double check. I didn't have to, there wasn't, I wasn't supposed to talk to anyone in my command room, was I? Or was I supposed to here? Hold on, let me just click in on this real quick. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Oh! -hoo! Sorry, did you guys see that look? Do you, how long do you think this conversation's gonna last? We've got about 30 more minutes. Or should we pause it here and have this conversation with them next time? I think we should have this conversation with them next week. Because surely it will give us a next step. Oh, never mind. We go right in. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos right, looking right. for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Mm. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not over. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! <sighs> it's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. <gasps> Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this with my help, of course. Oh, are you kidding me? He's mad. He was holding a grudge for getting, because we got him. <gasps> we didn't get him fired. Let's go, Liara. Oh no, oh. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Um, Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I tried. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back. Shit. In. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. So we probably don't have the Normandy anymore, huh? Oh. 
Wait, wouldn't I also not have my team? <gasps> Kiss! Oh my god. Kiss. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just I'm knew so you were on mad. the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Hi, Ryan. Don't cry. Don't cry. Ugh. All right, I'm bringing Liara. And... Polly. Joker. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior you atmosphere. Son of a bitch. Logged. Oh? The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. What the fuck? Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Fuck you. Alright, where are we going? Captain Anderson is waiting for you in the wards at Flux. Wards at Flux. With all this exploration of Prothean culture, I can't believe this must they be didn't like kiss. a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. I think so. Yes, Birch. most of the technology I had hoped to bring back to the flotilla has subsequently attempted to kill us. Don't. So did I properly say hello to Orion? Okay, the wards at Flux. Gonna go talk to this guy. I can't believe we got grounded. We'll find our way back in, obviously. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to oh, do my best for humanity, right. I need the best resources on the market. <laughs> There's a Ryan would be streaming. I love him. And cognitive function. I love Ryan. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. <laughs> it might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. I'll see what I can do, but I can't guarantee anything. I understand, and I'll pay you back for it. And I can even throw in a little extra. I don't know why Thanks I talked to this guy. Like I said, you can find the stimulant over in the med bay. Yeah, 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 you're not who we're here to talk to. We're here to talk to... Hello, Captain Anderson. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Oh, Norman. wait. I was thinking of I Anderson. Know, I'm sorry. Not I Anderson is not Odina. You, sorry. No I got the mixed up you for a second. You I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to <laughs> A lot. Island. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. Hi, Mom. Not that simple. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but With if we override the ambassador's the orders, job. we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. I know. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as it, we know it is over. He's from Malcolm in the Middle. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. 
You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's uh... your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. Damn. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Shook Udina community. issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. It's music. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. We, I should have let him decide. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Not yet. I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you. Okay. And that is where we say, who's Rita? Welcome to Flux. Name's that wasn't Doran. who I wanted to talk to. So I what thought I do we could talk you? to Rita. Nothing. Enjoy can I your time here talk to Flux? Rita? I can. Hello. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Oh. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Dorn before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Go on. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The oh. problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. Yeah. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Mm. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. We can speak with her. Maybe I could help her understand. See, we've just got some things to do with the Citadel is. before we clearly can't come That'd back be here. Great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I well, should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you should. But Thanks. I can't do that today. Who's the bouncer? Who is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, look at them dancing. Can we dance? Rally round. Where to dance party? Everyone dance. All right, we gotta end. We gotta save. Let me see. Also, wait. Oh fuck! I have twenty points for Tally. Electronics. Okay. I guess we can give. Uh, we'll wait on those last two points. Okay, now let's save. Excellent progress. I know, right? We did so much. We'll end right here on the dance floor.